Hey guys, so here I have the heart of my gaming PC. We have the GTX 960 and this is the gaming edition, the 2 gigabyte, right? And the GeForce GTX 960, you can pick this up on Amazon for about $207.99, right? It's a great deal. It's a great billing uh, mid-range graphics card. And what you can do is you can build an awesome gaming rig from this, right? Or you can opt for the higher memory mod, uh, module version, right? I'm building a gaming rig for basic 1080p gaming, so I don't think I'll need anything about this, although some people might disagree, right? So here we have the graphics card. I also have, along with that, a nice pair of G-Skill DDR3 memory modules, 8 in total. I'll put a link to this, and I'll also put a link to the unboxing if you want to check that out. We also have a full review on the website, blogtechtips.com. All right, now back to the precious graphics card, the 960. All right, now this was to replace my old graphics card from my old gaming rig. All right, if you know I'm trying to build, or should I say I'm building a brand new gaming rig for 2015. It's been a while since I've upgraded, so I guess I'm in for a treat. All right, here we have the back of the box it's showing you all the cool features of the MSI GTX 960, right? We have the new Twin Frozen 5, and that's the gaming graphics card. And we have all the nifty little features, such as torque fan, right? That gives you superior cooling. We have the heat pipes for effective heat distribution, precipitation. Next, we have the Zero Frozen that actually is fun will not spin until you're actually on the load. So if the machine is in at rest, they'll actually not spin, which is very impressive compared to my older graphics card. We also have the apps that work along with your phone and so on for you to basically tune and fine tune your graphics card, all right? As you can see here, it contains the hybrid BIOS, which is for the Windows 8 series and so on, all right? And you have the side of the box, you have the top, and you have the specifications here on the side, right? Such as PCI, fan cooling, all that, um, support for SLI, and all that good stuff, all right? So what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to actually open the box. I might speed this up in the interest of time, just to save time. I'm going to peel off the plastic wrap to expose the graphics card. Alright, we have that so you can see it's actually new as I'm cleaning. And I'm going to actually try to find the tab to open the box. Alright, we have a nice tab. Play section around here. What you do is apply this and oh, I guess we slide this out. I must say, uh, nice packaging compared to the old packaging that I'm used to with the MSI, kind of a lover of MSI cards. Alright, ooh, this is nice. Alright, so as you can see here, they are giving you kind of a premium packaging. You have a nice little box here. I'm sure this contains the material, such as, yeah, yeah, all right. you have a nice little fold out guide, right? Professional gaming themes, right? Some Koreans and so on. Right. So if you do not know, um, gaming is becoming a sport and I think it's going to be in the new Olympics, right? So we have all sort of teams here, right? Here we have the MSI series of gaming laptops and desktops and so on, right? Gaming mouse keyboards, right? Put this aside. Here we have a H, what is this? VGA, I have a DVI to VGA adapter. We have a nice little Molex here to convert your power supply in case you do not have the 
prerequisite connections on your power supply on the other side. You have the drivers, and as you know, you should always download the latest drivers from the website, not from the scrap. So I'm going to show this away. All right. Here we have a manual, a quick um, user guide. Now, we are men, we're going to read this scrap. But it's good as fluff as these things look pretty cool. All right. So, you can enjoy the eye candy, lots of graphics, various languages. Mm. Okay. Right. Oh, here we go. I guess you could actually put this on the wall as a little wall sticker or wall poster, but it does run you through the basic um, setup. Alright, not bad. And yep, that's it. Alright, we're going to put this aside. And we're looking for the star of the show. Oh my lord. Look at this thing. Alright. Here we have the 960. Sorry. Yeah, 960. Alright, I think it's Christmas right here for me. This thing is just gorgeous. Yep. And this thing is just beautiful. Um, I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. It actually looks way better in person. Alright, I'm going to actually slide off the stick off the back okay and I'm gonna carefully remove this from its throat all right I'm trying to keep it in the anti-static shielding okay here we go And as you can see here, this is the back of the PCB. There's no um, back plate, which is not really a problem. All right. Here we have the card itself. I'm gonna orient this correctly. Okay. Great fun design. Very lightweight. All right. We have the whole Froza five um, cooling system going here. We have the heat pipes along there you have the MSI logo and it has that new graphics card smell mm. you guys would know what I'm talking about all right and everything is actually protected um, not bad for two hundred and nine dollars US all right okay all right guys so as promised this has been a quick unboxing of the GTX 960 from MSI, right? This will be a part of my brand new gaming build. So you guys can check it out. I'll put a link to the full review of this card. Um, if you're considering to get this card, um, straight out of the box. Can not speak about performance, but it's a great looking card. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. This is Ricardo Gardner from blogtechtips.com. You can check out the website in the link in the description. And as usual, stay safe and bye.